This video will highlight the new slab deflections feature within Tecla Structural Designer 2018. A rigorous slab deflection estimate requires an initial design of the slab panel and patches so that the slab properties and reinforcement areas are known. Refer to a slab design video for more information. Slab properties are defined in the Properties window for the selected slab. Initially, we'll use a modular of rupture restraint constant of 4, as suggested in ACI 435. A new slab deflection ribbon controls the workflow for slab deflection. The Options command controls deflection limits, aging, and shrinkage and creep parameters, as well as modification factors and iterative cracked section analysis convergence parameters. Slab event sequences allow the engineer to define the events to be considered. We'll consider a simple event sequence where creep is considered using a user-defined aging coefficient in accordance with ACI guidance, typically set to 0.8. Alternatively, you could use an automatic aging coefficient with a detailed event sequence that considers early propping events. This is not discussed in detail in ACI references but more information could be found in the United Kingdom Concrete Society Technical Report 58. An additional event is added to the end of the event sequences to consider instantaneous deflection requirements for live load only. Any event could cause cracking in the concrete, which will carry forward into future events. You can choose to analyze all, a current, or selected slab. Analysis is amazingly quick since everything is managed within one model. This allows for value engineering to be performed. Once the analysis has completed, contour results for deflections can be displayed. The Structure Slab Deflection Results view is unique in that it shows the results of each individual slab for its associated slab event sequence. Keep in mind that this is not a construction sequence. The deflections can be viewed for total results after a specified event, differential results between two events, or instantaneous deflections for a single event. Hovering over any FE node provides a tooltip with useful details. Extent of cracking results can be displayed for any selected event. This displays the extent of cracking for each FE element. The element is either uncracked, fully cracked, or partially cracked. It may be cracked in one direction but not in the other. Once an FE element is cracked, it carries forward into future events. Relative stiffness can be displayed after a specified event for different result directions. You can also display the reinforcement used for each direction. A composite modulus calculation can be exported to Excel to review the underlying calculations if needed. As previously mentioned, contours allow deflections to be reviewed. But what is the critical deflection for a span over limit when the span varies for irregular slabs? It can be a tedious process to review deflection contours manually to perform deflection checks. To address this arduous task, Tecla Structural Designer introduces user-defined check lines. These will automatically check average slopes between points of minimum and maximum deflection along the line. Check lines are created in a 2D plan view. A catalog of total, differential, or instantaneous deflection checks can be created. These can then be applied to check lines. Up to six checks can be assigned to a check line, and the default values are taken from the catalog. Place check lines interactively where you wish to perform the deflection check. Check lines can be moved and deleted. You can view deflections along the check lines. You can see a more detailed deflected shape by opening a deflections check view. This shows the maximum and minimum values and the deflection check between these points in terms of a slope ratio. You can view the status and utilization of check lines. Check lines are associated to slabs, so you can also see the status of the slab deflection. If a check line crosses a slab and fails, then the slab fails. If no check line crosses a slab, then the slab deflection status is unknown. If all check lines crossing a slab pass, then the slab passes. The worst check line utilization associated with the slab is then the slab utilization. 
Checkline reports can be generated on a member or model level. In this example, some check lines have also been placed on the roof using the same procedure. Based on the deflection fail status or a low utilization, any input parameter can be adjusted to optimize the results. We will increase the modulus of rupture by adjusting the restraint constant to 7.5. Check lines are automatically updated. Note the enhancement to the utilization ratios. All the checks on the first floor are now passing. The higher modulus of rupture controls the extent of cracking within the slabs. However, at the roof level, some check lines are still failing. This time we'll increase the slab thickness by a quarter of an inch. The check line utilization ratio has reduced from 1.224 to 1.017 due to this small change or increase in the slab thickness, but it still fails. Now instead of increasing the slab thickness further, we will increase the area of tension reinforcing using the slab reinforcement command. As you've seen, following a redesign or a check, existing check lines are automatically updated to reflect any optimizations made. Views can be saved showing check lines and their references. A model report can then be generated displaying the view along with the check line status. There are many other input parameters that can be considered in your assessment. As you've seen from the above example, analysis is amazingly quick, allowing value engineering to be performed since everything is managed within one model.